Daniel Luyerika in Kampala. He's the executive director of the African Palliative Care Research Network. Thank you very much for joining us. Am I right in saying it's clearly a, a very important drug and everyone should have access to it? Exactly. Everybody should have access to medical morphine because it reduces suffering of patients who are going through excruciating pain. Okay, why are you finding it so difficult then to get it out to those who need it? Is, is it mainly stigma that's a problem here? There are a number of layers of problems across Africa. The first one is policy. In many countries, you have countries where they are still stuck to the old policies, where they are looking at control rather than access. Then you have human resources. Many health workers are not trained in the use of morphine, and therefore the need for in-service and pre-service training in morphine availability and, and use. The other one is the supply chain. Many countries also don't have a good supply chain for oral morphine. And then, of course, the fact that there are myths in the public as well as among the health workers about morphine. And what about the fear of it being addictive? I mean, is that a false fear because it is so difficult to get hold of unless you're actually working as a doctor or a nurse? Actually, it's the pe that uh, fear is actually unfounded because the people who get addicted to morphine are not the patients who need it. When you need that morphine, there is no room for you to be addicted. And most of the countries now which use oral morphine, you cannot actually bring out evidence to show that people have gotten addicted to morphine. So the patients should not be denied morphine on the pretext that they will get addicted because many of these patients are on their last leg and they need morphine to actually overcome the pain that is so bad that they are going through. And therefore, that shouldn't be a cause for, for fear. It seems that Uganda is getting it right along with other countries in Africa. Is the program there in Uganda something that can be rolled out, do you think? I think Uganda took a step when they changed the laws and allowed nurses to prescribe oral morphine because the majority of patients in Africa are seen by nurses. And so if you don't allow or facilitate nurses to prescribe oral morphine, you are actually causing suffering because if you have one doctor to 20 patients, many patients will never see a doctor. The other countries that have made progress, you, we have Kenya, we have South Africa, but in case of Uganda, I think the, the allowing of nurses to prescribe oral morphine was a, a very timely step in the right direction. Very good getting your thoughts on this, Emmanuel Luri Yika in Kampala. Thank you for your time.